Hey there, it's Chris Murray from childcare-marketing.com with another weekly success video strategy. And on this video, I want to share with you uh, something I get asked about a lot, which is, hey Chris, how do I manage my waiting list? Give me some tips and some ideas for being more effective in managing my waiting list. So the first thing that you have to keep in mind is a clear communication on uh, people and I really recommend that you if you have a waiting list in certain rooms uh, and you have a mom calling and maybe she has two kids uh, infant and toddler and in the toddler room you're on a wait list in the infant you have space you need to on the phone I believe before the tour go ahead and, and communicate openly and clearly and be very honest with mom or dad when they're calling okay you don't want to mislead them and have them come up for the tour not knowing the fact that you are on a six week waiting list in your toddler room. So that's the first best practice is to um, to manage, uh, have a, a very current and up to date um, expected or anticipated opening date and just a good guesstimate and communicate that on the phone when you have people calling in. Uh, I still however do believe that you should offer to send them an email um, information packet and get their contact information get their name their child's names date of birth phone number and email and you know of course in the Academy we teach easy ways to do that um, but that should be part of your process when they call on the phone and to cl clearly communicate what you believe so something like um, I really want you to come in Mary for your tour and I look forward to meeting your children I just want to let you know that our toddler room is on a roughly six week waiting list currently we do estimate that we will have an opening in mid-august for you um, but we still would love you to come in and see our school meet us um, and and by the way Mary what is your anticipated start date so what you really want to get here is you want to get clear data on her also on what her desired start date is so that um, that information will come into play in the next step that I'm going to teach you in this video but you also want to that's part of the conversation right so what is your desired start date let's make sure that you know to have a clear communication so that we can accommodate you the best you can or if not uh, we can also refer and recommend some other schools that we think do a great job okay so that's the first piece is clear communication getting her contact information um, and letting and finding out what her desired start date is so that you can have that in your database okay the second piece is to maintain an updated spreadsheet of leads um, and prospects or to put all that information in your CRM system such as childcare CRM so you're gonna want to definitely put her anticipated start date in your CRM or your spreadsheet which will enable you to um, save time when it goes when it comes time for the third step which I'm going to share with you next on how to then communicate out when you do have an opening okay so uh, set your clear communication gather the anticipated start date put the information in your tracking system whether it's a spreadsheet system like we teach in our enrollment boot camp or a child care CRM or a CRM type system and then the final step to make managing your wait list much easier and take much less time for you is to use some kind of a um, you know use technology for your benefit so use there is a system I want to tell you about today um, and it enables you to do automated voice blast and fo a follow-up email automatically with the touch of a button and the system is called phone burner phoneburner.com um, it's as low as 67 bucks a month and what it enables you to do is just upload a, a spreadsheet of contacts um, or pull them out of your CRM and upload them and send out a voice, a voice blast with a customized message so it'd be something like hey folks you guys all have August and you know hopeful start dates in our toddler room and we wanted to reach out to you and tell you today that we are going to have an opening in about two weeks and so our policy is is that we have a first come first served policy so what we do is on the month of our opening we blast out to all the families that told us they want an anticipated start date of that same month and all those families get the blast at the exact same time with a follow-up email it's all automated versus you having to call each and every one of those families you send out your blast and let them know first come first serve you guys all let us know you want it August so we're sending out the blast we look forward to hearing from you and the first 
uh, one or two families that can book with us and enroll will get those spaces, right? And we do this because it helps us save time, which helps us focus more on children and learning and caring, right? So you just kind of let them know up front, you're gonna be doing this process. You have a policy in place, which is anyone with a requested start date in the month that we have an opening will receive an automated voice and email communication from us. And we have a first come first serve policy. So this is a great way for you to save many hours of time by having to do individual one-on-one -on -one phone calls and then reaching a bunch of people who already got care in some other situation, right? So that's, that's um, a great way for you to, to do this process, save time, have a policy in place so that there's no hurt, hurt feelings or miscommunication and, and communicate really well upfront with all your folks. They're gonna respect that and think that it's super professional. So again, the resource that I mentioned for you there is called Phone Burner, and I'm sure there's other ones on the market as well. So you might wanna um, investigate automated voice blasting and emails through your current CRM system, or add on a feature like Phone Burner or these other technologies. They're gonna save you tons of time, so it's well worth the effort to do that, okay? I hope this is gonna help you manage your wait list better, more effectively, and save you time and save you a little bit of heartburn in the process. This has been Chris Murray with Child Care Marketing Solutions at childcare-marketing.com, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.